And the dream is the same dream Christopher Columbus had and wrote about extensively in returning to Jerusalem with the gold from the Americas to build the temple. Was this the true purpose of Columbus's voyage? To finance the rebuilding of Solomon's temple? And was this desire handed down from the Templars to Columbus to modern masonry? As we have shown before, the ships of Columbus sailed with a red cross on a white background, the symbol of the Knights Templar. But despite the interest of Templars and Freemasons, the original temple begins with the Jewish people. The temple was critical to Judaism. It was the heart of Judaism. The first Jewish temple built by King Solomon was destroyed by the Babylonians in 587 BC. The temple became a necessity for the existence of Judaism. So when it was destroyed, the longing for another temple in, in the Babylonian exile was, you know, primary. The foundation for a second temple was laid by Zerubbabel when the first Jews returned from their captivity in ancient Babylon. First thing when, when Jews are able to return, they build a temple. There's Zerubbabel and Ezra and Nehemiah come together. There's a, a temple built. It's added on to over the centuries until you end up with Herod's temple. The second temple was in existence during the time of Christ and the apostles but it would also be destroyed, a terrible event that Jesus himself had prophesied. The scripture says that the disciples came to show Jesus the buildings of the temple, and Jesus said unto them, See ye not all of these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that its desolation is nigh. And so it came to pass that the second temple was destroyed with the fall of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Yet in the aftermath of its terrible destruction would emerge the dream for a third temple and what some believe will be the final temple of all time. 